Okay, we're talking with Gunrita Dalaflesha and her husband, partner, coach Kenneth. Kenneth. Training uh, partner. Training partner. Yeah. <laughs> so we're in Madrid here, um, just before the start of the third round of the uh, of the World Cup. So we wanted to talk to both of you. Um, first of all, this, this season has has been a little different for you because last year you were you. You, you 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 had an illness, and now you're coming back. And it's uh, I said to you in Hooplies, it's it's good to see you back again. And but it must be a little different coming back and no longer coming in as the world champion or the World Cup leader and no longer being the big favorite for every race. I have had a long time to prepare for this <laughs> this thing because we have been out for such a long time. But um, I think. Maybe I needed that different challenge also, also after all these years, just to get back to feel the roots why I'm doing cycling and not biking. Because last summer I wasn't even able to ride my bike and then I really realized, yeah, I still love mountain biking and riding my bike more than anything else. So how hard was it to be able to come back and no longer be able to, when the, when the front riders go hard, to like, maybe I can't go with them, maybe I can't attack. How hard has that been? It's like, it's also, it's last year's victory has been winning a lot. It's not, it's not the, the victories that have, have pushed you know, it's more or less the process. Going up to the races. It's, it's not only about winning, and I think it, it, it wasn't hard to be in Fales. I was just so happy to be on the start line and feel the nerves and the excitement and everything. And I knew I was, of course, I wouldn't be able to follow the best one. I know what. I've been training during the long winter to be in top shape for the beginning of a season. I haven't hardly trained, yeah, like more half of it this winter. I was unable to do it. But it's also when you won the races, it wasn't the victory that counted. It was no. what you did the weeks before that you did the right training and you did the, the fine uh, adjustments and all that, that really you look back at. And, it, and we work in the same way now, even though we're not really on the highest level. So it's still the same factors that count. So yeah. it's just it's, a different it's, approach to it. it. It's like when you have been winning so much, people will think, yeah, she does this because only because if you win race, it's, it's fun, but it's not about that. Okay. Kenneth, I wanted to ask you, because you do a lot of the work designing the training program and monitoring how Gun Rita's going, so you have to, so you can adjust the training. With last year um, and having to come back from that, how did you design a program to help Gunrita get back up the level, especially in time for Beijing? You no, know, it's like uh, she had five months where she hardly did ride the bike. So when we started in November, we knew that we couldn't train the amount of hours that we have done earlier. So we just had to lower the intensity and also the amount of hours. We, did, we have done less power training because Gunrita's uh, body wasn't adapting to it. So it's just a matter of, we had we knew when we planned the season that the first part of the season we have to look at it as training because we, we didn't do that many races last year. So everything has been kind of slowly starting building up the energy because when she was sick she lost all her muscles. She was really uh, sick so, so uh, there's a lot of factors that we have to use time on building up. So at the moment we're just working on building the energy for having, having good training for the races and uh, we will have the same factors going the next two months and it's not easy for us to say now if we're going to be good enough to fight for medals in Beijing but we just have to take one month at a time but uh, for sure the winter has been uh, we have trained a lot, uh, a lot less than we normally would have done the power training we have done less of so that's a key factor so we want to work on for the next month uh, but for sure it's, it's something we have to adjust the whole time. And after these World Cups now we will have an evaluation when we sit down and we talk about different uh, things that we know that we are missing and we have to train on them. We have to, to, to use the time and train more specific to train up these qualities. Now for you, how do you feel in, in terms of 
Is it encouraging the way your progression is going? Is it a little discouraging? Do you feel where? Do you, do you feel like yes? I, I can I can see that things are getting better. I can see a difference. Or it's sometimes I would love to be able to pray more because I love training. That's for sure. uh, but <laughs> I I I know that there will be maybe some training days hard, and then I will be out almost for two weeks again. So that's really the wrong way to, to do it. I I know that I have to put one one stone on top of each other and take one step. Just like a junior, I have to hold her back so yeah. she doesn't do too much. <laughs> and some some days are tougher than others for sure. Okay. But it 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 was a great lift just to be able to race and start in Hufa And the um, Hufa race was much better than we expected. So. Yeah, in the results it was it was really far over what we had expected at all. But it was also, it, it has been a long process, really. Um, a one thing, we had five months where I was sick or couldn't train, but I think my, my energy level was was still on a low level even in, in December and the beginning of January because of the bacteria I had in my stomach mm -hmm. that was really um, it destroying the system, how I observed nutrition or everything I ate. So the, the stomach specialist I went to and did all the the, the testers and everything at the hospital. He said normally when you have that kind of bacteria in your stomach and you have to go on this heavy heavy um, uh, antibiotica, it normally takes minimum half a year before your normal digestion and function in your stomach to, to take up the nutrition in what you eat uh, becomes normal again. Right. And I could really feel that because then we started training in November, not much, but we started. And that also take energy of course. And on top of that, yeah. I didn't have the normal energy. So it has been a long process. You have to have really, really been, I have to be very, very patient. That's, that's why we just said that we don't have any goals for the first part of the season. Because it will take not, time. Not in results. Not in results, but uh, goals and training for sure. <laughs> but, but when that's said, it was the same thing when Gunrieta didn't do the Olympics in Sydney. She had almost two years when she was severely overtrained. So, and also in '97 she had a virus, so she hardly did it anyway. So, so she's kind of a comeback girl in one way. So we just have to be smarter about it. It's like a cat, seven life, yeah, and always fall back on his feet. When okay. he now we have uh, five, uh, five, five left. Five left. Okay. So I will still, still also this one this time land on my feet again. Okay. But we just need some time. And now, sorry, go ahead. No, it's and then it's just for us. We have to use our experience in that, and also just be sure that we have energy and also have fun when we do the race. Okay. And use the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's just talk a little bit about tomorrow's race. I mean, this is a, quite a different course from the last two weeks. It's a very fast course. It's not so technical. Um, what, what are you expecting tomorrow? Um, and, and, and Arena is not going to be racing as well. No, that's so. true. Um, normally, I like all the different courses. If I'm in good shape, I, can, I know I can do well in all kinds of condition and weather and courses, everything. But now I'm not in good shape, but still, it's a good course for me because I've had great races here before. Mm -hmm. And uh, but the results, it really doesn't count tomorrow. It's more going out there, having a good training and having fun on my bike, and just feel that yeah, my my health is good again. I'm back on my bike and I'm even competing. So up uh, to the results, we see tomorrow. Okay. If I smile when I finish, go passing the finish line, I'm more than happy. If she smiles, then I'm happy. And for sure she will do the whole race. But tomorrow will be a great training race, for sure. But we hope that there will be a one other Norwegian girl up there, uh, Lena Bierbach. Yeah. yeah. And I think she will be strong tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so it looks like Norway has two spots for Beijing? Two girls and two spots. Okay. And we are Very good plan. And they, okay. they are from the same town. So yes. Good friends as well. And we have maybe four girls doing cross country back home in Norway. <laughs> it's, but it's, only me and Lena doing international races. Right. But Lena, the, the training she does is based a lot on what Greta has used a long time to build up. And Lena, she trains really well. Yeah. So now, are, are you working, Kenneth? Are you working with Lena? 
Oh, oh, I yeah. work. I work. I had, had her as a my athlete last year, but this year I work more uh, for the Olympic Federation. So if there are some advices that I can come with, I bring them on to her coach. Okay. But okay. to share her own coach again. Yeah. Okay. She has her own coach now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but, it become a natural choice for us when we had we had to go through what we did. Mm -hmm. We didn't know how things would turn out at all. Mm -hmm. Last it would be fair for end of last year. No. no. But she has a. Specialized in doing great job with her, so yeah. she's in good health. Okay, good. But okay. It's, it's good that we have two from the small moment. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, good. Okay, well, thank you for talking with us, and um, good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.